This is the Sony HUIS remote. Sony sent this to us a couple months back and we've been delaying it because of the recent influx of color devices that have come out. However, it is time to show you guys the true full customizable ability of this home remote. It is all in Japanese unfortunately, but the customization is basically language agnostic and we're gonna touch on that right now. So here it is in its raw form. It is a very interesting shape as well. It's trapezoidal on the bottom with a couple little tiny feet. They also have some feet on the back, so no matter which way you put it, whether you stand it up like that or set it down on your coffee table, it's always going to be resting above the surface, thus not scratching the device itself. Now it looks like a flush screen and bezel, but it isn't. A, a quarter millimeter gap just between the screen and the bezel. Now when you turn it on it looks like this. You have a couple selections and we made these two. We'll touch on that when we get to the computer section of this review because a lot of this will have to do with your PC app. So you do have an IR transmitter at the top, infrared, and you have a USB micro port at the bottom. The settings are all in Japanese, unfortunately. So when you click on that, they're just going to be in Japanese. And this is just battery, Bluetooth, etc. There's going to be, you know, other page and there's going to be some stuff like system and help and sound and whatnot. So a lot of this can be bypassed because you don't really need to focus on it too much. What you really need to focus on is this part. It comes with this one, TV, and it's actually locked, so you can't change this one. It's stuck on here from the get-go, and it's in the device's hardware. It does have a little bit of storage in here, not for uh, audio to the point where you can put you know, music on it and stuff because it doesn't have any sort of capabilities like that. The primary use of this device is to control your TV, but it does work on air conditioning units, air purifiers, a lot of things with Bluetooth, your home lighting, DVD players, stereo systems, etc. So you have back menu and tools and obviously pressing these do nothing because these all have to do with this acting as a controller because it is. You have four different sections on here as well. So if you swipe up, you get different screens. And if you swipe up again, you get the actual uh, numpad and you swipe up again, you get play, stop, record, etc. Now all of this can be changed and we'll get over to that when we go over to the computer again because there's a lot. This is so customizable that it doesn't matter where you live, you're always going to make this into your own and we'll show you what we mean right now. We made a goody reader review test page and you can see we added a JPEG, did an up and down, a menu, recording picture mode and just some other stuff we threw in there. This is really cool because this reads any JPEG file and you can even throw in ebooks. When it says ebook, I actually changed the name of this page to ebook. So don't, that wasn't an automatic thing. Now, what I did is I actually put in some ebooks and you can read on this. It's very silly, but as long as something is an image, it will run. So you can put manga, you can put PDFs. You can put your favorite books, you can put images, and it will view it. It's quite interesting. The biggest part about this is the computer experience because when you plug it in and you open up your application, you have this. You have the regular TV section, which was the locked section. You have whatever you want to make. So you saw the Goody Reader review one and the ebook one. So as you click on something new, you can actually utilize these icons to move over here and put them wherever you want in any size that you want. You can be completely customizable just taking advantage of the grid system. It is pretty phenomenal that they give you this level of functionality. Not only that, you can choose what you want each one to do. You can function your TV via touch, flick up, write down, and you can tell it what you want it to do. Stop, record, music, green, yellow. The combinations are endless. Clicking the center of the canvas, you open up this. And this is the biggest thing because this gives you the maximum amount of compatibility and customization. Clicking on this icon here, you're able to browse your computer and add in anything you want. And for example, we added in our PDF that we add to all of our uh, testing material and we can just label it PDF and once we do that we click done and it automatically saves it and you can now view it on the remote itself when you go to turn it on. 
After you're done making as many pages as you want, ebook, PDF, manga, images, etc., just go ahead and press the X on the top right corner. That will close it and it'll automatically sync and update. After you've searched and scanned for your device, it will immediately register and all you need to do is just start using it. You can see right here, we've pressed the button and it will turn on appropriately. It will work with most anything, including Amazon devices like Fire TV, Cubes, and of course, regular TVs. This is not a smart TV, but it still works 100%. And it will work with power, guide, and if you swipe up on your controller, you can do other things like channels, recording, and everything else we've showed you before. It's really quick and it's really useful. Is this remote for everybody? Not necessarily. It's kind of hard to get a grasp on. You need a PC program in order to customize the pages and it can get a little bit technical. That and the fact that it is only in Japanese and cannot be updated or changed into any other language does limit it a little bit, but it does work in any part of the world. You don't have to be in Japan. You can be in Brazil. You can be in Andorra, Papua New Guinea. This will work as long as your devices have Bluetooth or infrared connectability. This thing is really cool. It is e-ink and it is Sony and it is made in Japan. You can go over to the Goody Reader store if you want to get one. We ship anywhere in the world. For a full review of the Sony HUIS Smart Remote with an e-ink screen, this is Peter.